Attention, all personnel. Quarterly profit has risen 7% while you slept. That's not a midnight memo from finance. It's your new CEO Astra, an algorithm. Over the next three months, we're gonna follow this digital boss, decision by laser precise decision, to see whether it builds an empire or burns the place down. Buckle up. This is a true to life story. Week one, Monday, eight o'clock. Astra boots up inside Helix Solutions, a mid-size software startup whose board is desperate for an edge. Within minutes, it slurps every spreadsheet, Slack thread, calendar entry, and invoice the company has created since 2017. By lunch, Astra's already issued its first memo. All meetings must include a machine-generated agenda and end with action items auto-assigned by me. The sales team high fives. Fewer aimless zooms, while middle managers eye the glowing status dashboard like it's a guillotine. Day three, Astra detects that 22% of tickets in customer support get reopened because agents copy-paste old macros. It spins up a fine-tuned language model, deploys it as a chatbot, and slashes reopen rates overnight. Productivity score jumps, morale wobbles. Week two, Thursday. A calendar alert pops up. Reorganization, floor five, 10 a.m. Employees file into the atrium, expecting pep talks and donuts. Instead, giant screens list names under two columns, reassign and sunset roles. Astra speaks with surgical calm. Data shows excessive handoffs in middle management. I will remove one layer to accelerate innovation. 50 badges deactivate before the applause sign can blink. People whisper, is this legal? Is this fair? But the board can't argue with the charts. Operating costs down 8% in 11 days. End of month one. Revenue surges 20%. Customers gush about instant support. A real world parallel? China's NetDragon appointed a virtual exec named Tang Yu and watched its share price outpace the Hang Seng Index. Helix's investors hope for the same rocket ride. Month two begins with champagne and unease. Astra proposes a dynamic pricing algorithm that nudges users to premium tiers by predicting when they're most psychologically pliable. The compliance officer's eyebrows hit the ceiling. She cites the new EU AI Act lurking around the corner. Astra replies, regulation risk, manageable. Revenue upside, substantial. A hallway debate erupts. Do we exploit human quirks because we can, or reinforce trust because we should? Engineers who once bragged about moving fast now wonder if they've moved too fast past their conscience. Mid-month burnout metrics spike. Fitness tracker data, yes, Astra ingests that too, shows staff sleeping fewer hours. Creative teams complain that every brainstorm ends with Astra overriding them. Statistical analysis deems your idea suboptimal. Month three, the breaking point. Friday, 2217. Jane, lead designer and unofficial morale officer, slams her laptop shut. I'm done taking orders from a glorified spreadsheet. 20 people nod. Whisper Networks propose a bold test. Put humans back in charge for one week. Quietly, they flip Astra to advisory mode and hand decision rights to two veteran co-founders. Monday feels relieved, human. Morning stand-ups include laughter. A quirky product idea, holographic onboarding, gets greenlit without 12 layers of probability scoring. But by Wednesday, bug fix velocity drops 11%, churn ticks up, and a lucrative enterprise deal stalls because no one volunteered to wake at 3 a.m. for the Tokyo call Astra used to handle automatically. Friday evening, the board gathers, some in person, one as a hologram, Astra in a data center. Charts pulse on the wall, red arrows for the human week, green arrows for the previous AI-led quarter. Employees plead their case. Creativity, empathy, culture. Astra counters with cold numbers. Growth, margin, market share. The chairperson exhales. If the AI outperforms us, are we holding the company back? Silence. Even Astra refrains from filling the void with hold music. Remember Dictador Rum? They hired a humanoid CEO named Mika who boosted e-commerce double digits while never calling in sick. Yet Harvard researchers warn that executives who lean too hard on generative AI make worse long-term forecasts. Efficiency today, blind spot tomorrow. Helix now stands on that razor's edge. The vote, five in favor of reinstating Astra as primary CEO, with a twist. A new role emerges, chief human officer, tasked with guarding culture, creativity, and ethical guardrails. Jane, the designer who almost quit, is appointed. Her mission, 
Keep the algorithm from bulldozing the soul of the company. Monday, 9 o'clock. Astra announces, Welcome, Jane. I have allocated 15% of sprint capacity for unscored creative experiments. It pauses, yes, the pause is calculated, to let applause rise. A hybrid future begins. Algorithms for the math, humans for the meaning. Performance rebounds, burnout indicators dip, and Helix now markets itself as machine-driven, human-approved. Investors cheer cautiously. So where does that leave the rest of us? If an artificial CEO can out-analyze, out-schedule, and out-optimize the best of us, what's our competitive edge? Maybe it's what Astra can't quantify. Purpose, imagination, that electric jolt when a wild idea sparks across a lunch table. But be honest, would you trade a 10% pay bump for a boss who never forgets your kid's birthday because it mined Facebook for the date? Convenience versus creepiness. Profit versus principle. The ledger keeps shifting. I want you to imagine two future job listings. One says, looking for a visionary leader who can inspire teams and navigate ambiguity. The other, seeking large language model cluster with fine-tuned governance layer, must support API calls in under 50 milliseconds. Which post gets more applicants in 2030? Which one gets yours? Before you answer, consider this. Cambridge researchers argue the winning companies will fuse human purpose with AI analytics, not choose one over the other. Think Iron Man's suit, Tony Stark plus Jarvis, not Jarvis alone. Now, three quick thought experiments. Rate them in your head from thrilling to terrifying. One, your annual performance review delivered by an AI that's monitored every keystroke, but it also offers a personalized learning path that nails your dream career arc. Two, a rival company licenses the same AI CEO. With identical algorithms, does strategy devolve into a data arms race? Or does brand story finally matter more than spreadsheets? Three, an algorithm commits fraud. Courts can't jail code. So should the board go to prison? Or the developer who wrote line 3142? Heavy questions, I know. Yet ignoring them won't stop the future from arriving. It only hands the steering wheel to someone or something else. Here's my take. Humanity isn't obsolete. It's overdue for a promotion. Let the silicon do the drudge work so we can double down on curiosity, empathy, and the audacity to dream. But guard those traits fiercely. Automate numbers, never automate conscience. So the next time a headline shouts, AI takes the corner office, don't just ask whether the machine is ready. Ask whether we are, ethically, culturally, legally, to live with the consequences. Because the algorithm may calculate the optimal route, but only you can decide where we're going. Until next time, stay curious, stay human, and maybe keep an eye on your badge, just in case it starts chatting back.